Go. Good evening, YouTubers, or good day, good morning, good afternoon. Welcome to this channel. I'm presenting today compact cameras. This obviously is the Olympus XA2, um, right around 1981. They ran the XA series from about 1979 to about, I'd say, 1985, I believe. Um, very compact camera, all plastic. Um, gorgeous pictures, um, sharp, uh, but there are better cameras, better build. Uh, in this video, I just want to compare this camera to some of the other cameras that I have, uh, just for a size comparison. Uh, not so much uh, technical details, um, but uh, so anyway, size-wise, uh, what's comparable to this? Um, one that I have that's comparable to this one is the Contax T. Uh, Contax T sits slightly taller than the XA series, uh, about a few millimeters. Width-wise, it's about the same. Thickness-wise, it's about the same. Uh, but height-wise, the Contax T is slightly taller. Uh, not by much, though. Um, Build-wise, the Contax T obviously is a much better build. In the hands, you can tell. Obviously, it's all metal. Um, clamshell. As opposed to, I call it a drawbridge. If you're not, if you don't like the drawbridge, you know, opening up like that, um, this may not be your style. But if you don't care, if you can get over this mechanism, um, it may suit you just right. Uh, excellent optics, comparison size wise. Uh, how about image wise? Hmm, I'd have to hand it to the contacts much better overall as far as um, for film shooting compared to the XA2. I would much rather shoot with this camera uh, for optics. Uh, for size wise, weight wise, I think the XA series may, may have the contacts beat because it's lighter. But as far as uh, ruggedness and optics, contacts T by far. Um, I don't have the flash for the contacts T, but I do have for the XA2. And I will put the flash on here uh, just so you get an idea of how much bigger both these cameras can get with their uh, respective flashes. Here I have the A11 for the uh, Olympus series XA's. I believe this flash will work with the XA, uh, XA3, XA4, etc. too. But you can see, let me close this up. Uh, how much longer it is and the contacts T would probably amount to the same uh, length. Now I'm going to move this contacts out of the way and I'm going to show you a sleeper camera. What I mean by sleeper camera is price wise this may be a little cheaper than contacts but if you're going to shell us some money to buy this contacts T I would strongly advise you in the realm size of this camera to look out for ta -da, this camera. What is this camera? Obviously it's a Fuji. Uh, this model is the DL50. Uh, if you're going to buy one of these or one of these for that price, you can find one of these, get one of these. Um, this is a built-in flash. You pull it out like that and you fire. It's a little louder than the XA2 or the Contax T, but for the optics that comes out of this thing, phenomenal. Don't underestimate the F4 uh, compared to F3.5 or the 2.8 on the XA um, or this one. Uh, at F4, if you're shooting outdoors or even if you're indoors, you got the flash. There's no worry. Um, it's really sharp. F4, uh, really sharp. Autofocus, you know, nice, nice camera. Um, the only problem with this camera is that um, the original batteries were hardwired into the camera. So when the batteries failed, the camera was done, you had to send it in uh, to Fuji. 
obviously that was a bad mistake on Fuji part because uh, this camera actually outlived um, the battery life and so a lot of people will just toss this camera aside because it, they couldn't service it but if you're uh, technically inclined you can desolder the batteries and put new batteries retrofit it back in and it works just like this one um, fold it up just like that and you can see the size very similar very pocketable sleeper camera good optics Eh, I would toss this one aside and go with this one instead personally but you could be different um, another camera that's on the rise or has been on the rise lately in price and I just don't understand why but um, is this camera this is the Nikon L35 AF uh, also very battery dependent and uh, for black and white uh, this one is really nice for color I would suggest you to go with contacts or possibly even with the Fuji but this camera on eBay this the prices are just being driven by um, people reading on the internet whatever but really this camera doesn't really the price doesn't really reflect the performance um, overpriced underperforming for that price uh, if you wanted to do strictly black and white, I would suggest this may be the camera, but you're going to have to account for the size. It's slightly taller than all of these other cameras here, and slightly bigger and whatever, whatnot. Uh, if you're going to shoot color on this one, I would probably forego it and get something else over here for color. But if you're going to do just strictly black and white, yeah, uh, just don't overpay for this camera but I just want to bring this one into the mix just to do a size comparison to the other uh, point shoots here uh, so what would I recommend um, if you have the money to splurge do the contacts if you didn't and you just had to decide about these three between these three um, the Fuji the uh, XA2 here or the any XA series or the Nikon back here um, pick this one up don't let this one escape you don't think it's just no good or you've never heard of it now you have pick it up uh, this one I could pass up on it I had an XA before and now I have this XA2 uh, slight differences stuff but um, this one probably be I would pick this up if for the right price but not and not what the eBay prices are going for right now. It's just not worth it because if you slightly bump it in the wrong direction, it may fail on you. Prone to fail, high in price, not a good match. So um, if you can afford it and buy a couple to try out to see which one works, great. If you can get it for a good price, otherwise I would pass on this one and go directly to find something like this or save your money for something like this. Um, okay, so. Thank you, and here's a quick look again on all these cameras. Uh, so I'll put the Nikon way back here. And uh, XA2 here, the Fuji, contacts. Thank you.